Hello, this is a quick note about how to print from Hi5. Hi5 can print in a couple of different places. You could print ID cards out, you could have a kiosk where kids print and, and visitors print hall passes that they could stick on their shirt. Uh, the receptionist can be printing things. So we control printers from Hi5 and there's two ways that you could do it. One is just printing directly from the browser because Hi5 is a browser-based application. And the other is a little bit more graceful. It's if you install a piece of software called JS Print Manager. If you can, putting this piece of software on your computer would allow Hi5 to talk directly to the printer and uh, things just go a little bit more smoothly. So what I'm going to demonstrate is how it is to print uh, from Hi5. For example, if I wanted to print an ID card, I might say uh, print ID. I've got a kid in front of me who wants a card. I say, what's your student number? His name is Reese. I hit print and I'm going to print to a Dymo here. It's just attached to the computer. So I just printed a card. That was done using JS Print Manager. I didn't see a print preview. I didn't have to think about settings at all. The way these things are configured is here. You click on printer and this is where you decide which technique you're going to use. By default, you'll be printing through the browser. These are the different places that you can print uh, and they can all have different um, settings. For example, if you're printing ID cards, you might want it to go to a hard card printer. If you're the receptionist, you might want to print stickers like I just did on a Dymo. So you can choose how you want to print in each circumstance. So I've just changed it from using JS Print Manager to browser. Let's go back and see how that would feel. Um, if I press these three dots here, it means uh, adjust the settings for the print you're about to do. So we're going to print to the Dymo using this paper size, and I'll just tell it to print. Now that we're going through the browser, it's going to give me a print preview, and there's a bunch of settings to think about, like if you want to scale which paper size, you've got to make sure you get it right, um, and margins and so on. It's going to work, uh, but you do have to fiddle with those settings a little bit to get it be just right. And unfortunately, for some browsers like Edge, if you print on one printer and then change and print on something else, those settings get forgotten. So if you can, it really is preferable to use JS Print Manager. And let me show you why you would do that. For example, um, I'm going to print not to the Dymo, but to uh, a laser printer. So I'm going to print off to the brother, which is beside me. And the paper size we're going to print to is letter. And I'm going to print a form factor. OK, all of that was so that I can print a small student card on a regular size sheet of paper. Why would I do that? Because often you've got a choice. Kid, do you want to pay for a card or do you want to have a free one? And a paid card might be a hard card printer printed on an Evolus. And a free one might be a sheet of paper with a, large, a little card printed on the side. So let's do that now. I'll say um, print to the brother and go. It's going to generate, talk to the printer, which is over here, warming up. It's a laser printer. Yeah. So the, the point of using JS Print Manager is that when you change printers like that, we remember the settings. It does what you kind of expect. It just does the right thing. JS Print Manager, it's a free piece of software. When you're running it, it looks like this in your task for Windows. Um, you can see settings for it like this. Basically, it allows a website to talk to printers directly, so you have to give it permission. All of this is described here. If you go to the printer and click Instructions, you'll see the two different alternatives, how to get the software, how to install it, and so on. Here's the print that just showed up. Okay, so it's a letter sheet of paper with the kid's student card printed like that. That's an example of why you would change printers, sometimes a hard card, sometimes a laser printer. Anyway, that's the distinction between going through a browser and going through JS Print Manager. If you can install JS Print Manager, it's much simpler to work with.